Facebook just fucking killed me. Dear Santa, I am writing this on the day after Xmas and I am very sad. I only received one of the two presents I asked for. Since you ate my cookies, I will assume that you missed again was a mistake. I will give you one week to fix this, Jeremy. Dear Jeremy, I am sorry you are disappointed with your presents. You asked for two very expensive presents and saying I can only do so much. Mm. You need to learn to be grateful for what you have, not upset about what you don't. If you continue to complain, I will have no choice but to add you to the naughty list next year, Santa. Dear Fatty, <laughs> your threats don't scare me. I played your game and you did not deliver. This is not okay. I will give you one week and then you will pay. Jeremy, P.S. I don't know why you care that it's expensive. When you have else slaves to make things for you, I think you are naughty for having slaves. Period, Jeremy. Tell that fat bitch. Dear Jeremy, you are being a very bad little boy because you cannot be happy with what you have. I have talked to your parents and told them to take away your Wii U. Wow, fucking dick move. Now you have nothing. <laughs> Once you learn to be grateful, perhaps you can have it back. I am very disappointed in you, Jeremy. You will need to be an extra good boy this year if you want to make it back on the nice list. And this is still going. Dear Santa, I do not like that stunt you pulled in my pants. You are on my naughty list. Now be afraid. You look slow and easy to kill. Enjoy your cookies next year because they will be poisoned. I hope you die. Jeremy was not fucking... One, I'm sending this video to my son. Because this is the bullshit that my son would have done uh, if we had taught him about Santa Claus and all that. Because, uh, man, that sounds just like Lincoln. <laughs> Jeremy on that. But I'm loving this new generation, y'all. I'm loving this new generation. This is one reason why I never taught my children about Santa Claus. They always knew from day one that it was their parents who was doing this and that this was just a family holiday time frame, a holiday time frame for family. And as they grew older, I taught them more and more about where the ideas of Christmas come from. And since I didn't raise them to be Christian, you know, I taught them what the Christian said, but I taught them about Santanelia and uh, yes, I did. I taught them about that in the winter solstice. But this is why you don't teach your children about Santa Claus, about these fairy tales, because when you have told them that all they got to do is be good and Santa's going to give you everything on your list, you don't know when things are going to change in your life. I remember when my mother, when the company Coates and Clark closed down in Marietta, and I didn't know because I was believing in Santa Claus, but I didn't understand that when that company closed down, my mother couldn't afford to buy all those toys like she was doing the previous time. So I thought I did something wrong. And for a couple of years, I tried to be great and I didn't get shit. So I was like, fuck it. <laughs> and I was an asshole for a whole year. And then when my mom was like, why are you being such a bad boy? I said, because Santa didn't get me done for like two years and I was real good. So I figured what the heck, what, is, what am I being good for? That's why you, and that's when she finally told me that Santa Claus is not real, that it was her and she had lost her job and all these sort of things. That's why you don't tell your kids about things these fairy tales like Santa Claus and Easter bunnies and all that bullshit because they believe that. But then once, once that's gone, now they begin to question everything, which is good, which is good because it validated me later on in life, starting to question everything in the Bible and all these and th hell, things on the news and everything else. But this is why you don't teach your kids about Santa Claus. And this is why you also shouldn't teach your kids about any religion and let them learn about all religions and quantify life for themselves as they get older. Just teach them to be good moral people. That's it, that's all your, that's your responsibility. Teach them to be good moral people. Teach them about finances. Teach them how to, you know, live and be, and discover themselves. That's, that's your job as a parent. All these other auxiliary things is not worth it. It's not really worth it. And it does damage to these kids because Jeremy, Jeremy gonna be hell when he gets older. Jeremy gonna be like my son. You know, gonna be like my two daughters. You know, questioning all this bullshit and, and, and thinking for themselves. So, <laughs> kudos to Jeremy. And Lincoln, when you watch this, you know, you know that's the kind of shit you would have done. 
So y'all have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibrations. <laughs>